Yeah, that was another reason that I like had to to jump on like doing these interviews and like watching the movie and like doing all this because I recently reconnected with someone from high school and like we've started really? dating. Yeah, so I was like, this is wow. spooky. <laughs> um, so what uh, I guess if you watch a lot of holiday stuff, what's like your favorite trope of like a holiday movie? Because that is like why we watch them. It's like predictable, but in like a warm and cozy way. Mm-hmm. Well. I love the like almost kiss. Mm. It always happens. Um, the like weird like mm, mm, uh, uh. <laughs> and I think it's because I'm so awkward myself and I always have like almost like I don't know like are we hugging are we uh, you know so everything like that always makes me laugh. Um, and of course music I love all the caroling I love the musical numbers. Um, I just the movie I was watching is called Mary Swiss Miss and um, they were singing Silent Night or at a, and like at like the end Christmas party and I was just like yes I'm so here for it um, and this might sound so nerdy and has nothing to do with film or storytelling at all but I love Christmas food I mm. love the visual of like seeing gingerbread cookies decorated or a cup of hot cider um, just Christmas. I, I mean, I watched the Great British Bake Off Christmas edition a million yeah. times. So so do you like, uh, I, I was going to ask later on, like, what's your favorite holiday tradition? It sounds like you like the very traditional, like, fully decked out plans, but do you have like something that's just like your family specific? Man, my mom actually made a video for Secret Santa today. Mm-hmm. And it's really funny. <laughs> um, she had like a Santa hat on and my little Santa slippers and she had a little been and she's like okay because I have five sisters oh wow so she was like we're picking secret Santas um so we have that tradition that we do uh you know it's hard to get six gifts for Mm -hmm. sisters so we each get a sister um but we I don't know having six girls in the house it we literally turn into little women like little house on the prairie (laughs) we're just all cooking pies and playing card games and gossiping around the fire. Um, but it's a really special time. I just, I I I grew up in a small town in Utah mm-hmm. and I went out to LA to pursue music and acting. And um, every time I get to come back to a small town and just enjoy slowing down everything and not looking at my phone. When I'm home for the holidays, my phone like kind of disappears. Yeah. And in LA, it's like somehow attached to my skin. <laughs> yeah, Christmas in LA is not, it doesn't feel like, I lived in LA for like four years and I was like, this is not Christmas. Like, this is wrong. No, <laughs> it's, it's very wrong. wrong. <laughs> yeah. No offense, people in LA. <laughs> um, so there are a lot of like very, very quietly revolutionary parts of Mary and Gay that like just feel very normal throughout the course of the movie. And then afterward, I was like, oh, wow, that's like really, really cool. Like with, um, Andy's character, Sam, how they're non-binary. And like, it's never like this big moment of like, let's do an after school special about, you know, Sam's pronouns. <laughs> and then like the moms being meddling moms, which is something that you would see in like very heteronormative Christmas movies. But like, it's for two, two like queer people. And so I was wondering if you had like a moment that you like just kind of perf- like acted and then afterward you're like, oh, that's actually really special. I think, I mean, what you just said makes me feel so happy because one thing that I love in storytelling and one thing that I, I love about Kristen is she takes these things that can be kind of a big thing for people and it should be, it's a, it's a great moment and it's, it, it's a great time to move forward. And, uh, but also it just, she doesn't shine a light on it. There's no shiny arrows pointing at something, you know, I I'm also obviously Asian American and I shy away from the movies that are like, this is an Asian story, or this is this, you know, there, there's some Asian Christmas movies and, but, but I like the movie where there's just an Asian lead. Who's just, I don't know, a lawyer. And it has nothing to do with them being Asian and it, it, there's no flashy ribbons or, uh, anything like that. And I think the more that you normalize things that are kind of new, that's mm-hmm. what is fun and um, fulfilling for me. And I, like what you said with the meddling moms and Andy, it's just, 
it's this beautiful thing because it's just subtle. It's just there. It's just life. It's just human. Um, Mm -hmm. and I, I love that. Yeah. Um, so what do you, what do you have to say to people who think of romantic comedies as like a lesser genre or don't think of it as like cinema? Try writing one. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I mean, I started writing, that was kind of like my COVID hobby is, is writing screenplays and now it's become much more of a hobby, but it's really difficult to write rom-coms and it's really difficult to write a script. It's really difficult to write anything. It's kind of the same thing. Um, the same thing that I would get told when I would write pop music is mm-hmm. everyone would just say, oh, everybody can write a pop hit. <laughs> I would always say you write one then. Yeah. It's not easy. Um but I, I do understand that it's not the godfather, you know, it's not deer hunter, but they definitely have a place in this world. And um, I don't know, my I, I'm actually in Utah right now. My brother-in-law just got out of surgery and he's been watching all these like cute movies and reading these books and watching sports. And it's all these things that I just have such a an appreciation for because I was thinking you know he's in so much pain and he's on all this pain medication and he just wants these things that can kind of be an escape for him he probably doesn't want to watch deer hunter right now (laughs) you know (laughs) um and and the same reason I was watching uh Chris's movie earlier today it's just there's there's a time when you just you feel stressed out there's a lot going on and you just want a little escape and sometimes the escape you want is into like a little snow globe world <laughs> and it's really nice yeah and i imagine like for you growing up too like not seeing asian american characters as like a romantic leading role was like hard in the same way that like growing up and me not seeing queer like the main characters as like happy fulfilled people and not just like utterly depressed and like miserable (laughs) it was like boys don't cry or nothing so it's like that's how I feel about romantic comedies is like there's an important and a need for them so yeah yeah yeah. um so finally what do you want people to take away from marrying gay like what are you hoping for Hmm. I hope that for some people they can feel seen and heard um and also just I hope that it can be a fun movie people can watch with their family and just enjoy and what we were just talking about escaping into a cute little small town 